to the private key bin on some kind of mobile server, probably a van in one of their hideouts. The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pinged these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. Good place to hold the world's least pleasant dinner party. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. Bagley, find me an entrance. I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside.
Begin searching. Incredible. There's some kind of secret police bunker down here, like a, uh, uh, what's the opposite of a serial killer's basement? Well, if Albion was stopping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. But what were they working on that led them to the tone bombing? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now, since Albion's coup. The Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these... Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. 
There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Oh, good. Albion is working with Clan Kelly. For a second there, I was worried they couldn't possibly get any worse. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. But we can't very well allow people to be snatched off the streets. We have to do something. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. Not too bad for a first go, if I do say so myself. You wouldn't have been recruited if DedSec thought you'd be killed that easily. Um, was that a compliment? No, don't worry about Bagsy. You get used to his side commentary. Mad job, cuz. This Albion Clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps to the front of the queue. We have reason to believe a former DedSec operative may still be alive, but missing inside the EPC. Angel Lopez, not London born, but I won't hold that against him, unlike some others. Looks like Angel got caught up in the immigration roundup, which, ironically, may be the only reason he escaped Zero Day's DedSec purge. Anti-immigrant sentiment has grown in London since the bombings. Albion fuels it. It allows them to send anyone they want to their brutal refugee camp. We need to find Angel before they discover he's dead sick. This is kind of personal team. But finding his trail might just shed some light on the Albion Clan Kelly connection. EPC. Well, at the very least, we can assume he's still in the UK. Deportations are backlogged to all hell. I've sent the details to your device and advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. <laughs> 